Most interesting news article I've ever seen on uh, YouTube because, um, as you can see, uh, the YouTube channel here is CBS Sacramento. Uh, CBS, as you guys all know, it's a well-known media organization and seems pretty legitimate. 37,000 subscribers. And uh, if you look at the like to dislike ratio on this video, it's pretty obvious that it isn't great. So, hmm, I wonder what on earth this video could be about. Right, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. But first, false alarm. Why Twitter says it won't remove an account. Okay, so I've actually never seen the mainstream media broadcast something about uh, Roblox law enforcement roleplay before. And keep in mind that this is sort of mainstream media because it's CBS, right? This is actually going on live news on the TV, which is pretty insane if you ask me. That caused an active shooter scare. Yeah, it's a sign of the times, really. Police dealing with imposters not only on the street, but also online. Now, they're investigating after tweets from this parody account sparked an active shooter scare in Truckee. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sherman Jay. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf is at CH3 headquarters with a bizarre account and why Twitter won't take it down. Last night, news media responded to a tweet from what appeared to be a CHP Truckee account, but it was a false alarm. The tweet came in around 9 p.m., a report of an active shooter from what initially appeared to be a CHP Truckee account. Yep, uh, this is really realistic. As you can see here, we got real, re really realistic, blocky uh, CHP, uh, a really blocky CHP person here. We got some other blocky people holding M9s that don't look realistic at all. And in fact, the texturings, the buildings, it's clear that it's Roblox. And in the background, you can see this blocky man, some mesh vehicles. The vehicles are actually made pretty great. But uh, yeah, this clearly does not look like real life. So I have no clue how they actually got permission and put this on air in the first place. Now let's keep watching account sending off alarms in newsrooms other tweets followed saying a suspect was in custody and another with a link to a press release but a closer look revealed the press release was fake and so was the account yeah of course it's fake first it says roblox on it all right if you see something that ends with roblox it's not real all right second of all i don't know if you noticed this cbs but uh everybody here they're they're blocky people it's Roblox, man. You're better than this. It's called a parody account. Further proof is the handle on the account, which ends in Roblox One, yep. an online game. Yeah, that's just super scary. <laughs> yeah, it's very scary when uh, blocky men and women Twitter says the account meets requirements for parody accounts because it clearly states the user is not affiliated with the subject of yeah, the of, account. Of course the user is not affiliated with the subject of the account because it's a Roblox account. And wh whoever actually made this community, it looks like a pretty well-made community based off of Truckee in uh, California, I suppose. He must be sitting back in his chair watching this video, slapping his face, going, whoa. What did I do to deserve this, right? Because his roleplay community actually went out of the way to make a press release and, you know, do media conferences and all of that stuff. I think it's a pretty great roleplay community, if you ask me. And that the news, mainstream media, picked this up and treats it like some sort of prank, I don't think it's really worth it for the owner of this community. But the CHP says this is not a verified CHP account and urges the public to be cautious with accounts claiming CHP. Yeah, you, it's not actually about being cautious. It's actually about using common sense and, you know, your skill of interpreting pictures, right? When I was small, I used to take a class where the teacher pointed at a fake photoshopped account, uh, not account, uh, photo, and pointed at a real one, and I would actually just, you know, tell which one was photoshopped, they were really obvious. And I would say that any person that had a brain 
would tell that those pictures were actually not based off of real life and blocky men and women actually don't exist in real life. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not so sure how their supervisor or their editor got this onto mainstream media, but let's continue. The affiliation, it's also filing a complaint. So the I okay, so CHP is filing a complaint that is completely reasonable, judging by the fact of this chaos that was caused. I mean, if it actually caused any chaos, chaos at all. But what I'm saying is how... So this person is probably, you know, the public relations officer for CHP or some sort of high-ranking official. How, how would he file a complaint? Where would the complaint go? As far as he can go would be to delete the Twitter account, which Twitter refused to do, as in the news uh, article said. And that's completely reasonable, reasonable because it's in Roblox. Yeah, he can't just go to whoever is the owner of this community. I don't know, uh, I did some research, their Twitter account was recently deleted. Send the FBI in and arrest him? Yeah, I don't think so. He might not even live in the United States for all we know. He's living in China, actually. Who knows? Anyway, on to the next part of this video idea of a fake account is a huge problem not just in this community but yes. across the nation yes fake fake ac fake accounts is a huge problem but i am not sure why they actually have the right to judge a roblox account as a fake account because this is clearly fake 